Well, hello there, and welcome. My name is Walker Stipe. Today, we're having a bit of fun and doing a quick, quick chat on um, a finding. A finding. Here is Reddit, a uh, website I've honestly used like barely ever in my life, and I'm trying to learn how to do so to publicize the things I'm making. Um, here we have a post. 110,000 upvotes, 4.6 thousand comments. I think that's pretty good. New study finds that most Redditors don't actually read the articles they vote on. Something like 73% um, of people who vote on stuff never read the thing in question. This is from three years ago, and it is posted on r slash reddit science. Um, everything posted here has to be a peer-reviewed journal or conference articles. You can't just put random nonsense out there. So what what um, sort of drop down are we looking at? Well, we are looking at the top posts of all time for this uh, Reddit. I don't know the, the jargon. So this is the, I believe it was the eighth um, top of all time on this website. Number one goes to Mr. Stephen Hawking. Now, research paper, 110,000, 4.6, you know, lots of buzz, top 10 of, of this, you know, Reddits of all time, and there's a, I don't know, 26 million members on this site. So even, you know, way more people saw it, only that many people um, upvoted. So let's look at the paper itself. Okay, so here's the abstract, crowd curated, da da da, -da. they did some things, they did some research, 73%, interesting, published in IEEE, big journal, one of the top. Three. Three citations, 110,000 active and engaged people. Now, roughly 70% of those people didn't actually read the article, but it doesn't really matter. Like, uh, honestly, you read, um, most Redditors don't actually read the articles. That's kind of all you need to know. And yes, I'm. Um, that's also an indictment of research as it is, that it's really only, you can summarize it in one sentence rather than the entire uh, thing. Um, now, I was going to cover this uh, because this is very much part of the motivation of why I am not doing a PhD and not um, attempting to be a sort of normal researcher um, is because a, a successful paper gets three citations. An unsuccessful paper, which is most of them, I don't actually have the numbers, but most papers do not get citations. They have zero or like literally one. Like the difference between like one and three is kind of notable. Um, and it's very very, very, very rare that a paper will get above, like, 20, and there's, like, almost none that get into, like, the thousands. Um, slightly dependent on your um, field, but in my field of machine learning, in artificial intelligence, um, it's, it's, I mean, this is, this is a successful paper, three, whereas the success you can have on the metric of communicating with the people is, I mean, how many orders of magnitude is that? Three versus 110,000. Um, and again, how many more people um, saw it and just didn't comment is a fair assumption. So this is not entirely a response or related to Yannick Kelcher, who I'm a massive fan of, um, talking about, you know, how to succeed at a PhD, but it's not entirely unrelated, right? Um, there's smart people out there, and I want to play a bit of a role in gu guidance, advice, I don't know. And not as somebody who, who would know, but as somebody who knows what isn't working, right? Socrates, the first rule of knowledge is that you know shit. Um, so I think that's this is worth noting that, you know, the traditional academic, academic, goodness, um, sphere is, is outdated and... We should move onward and upward. Mm-hmm. 